what's up you tuned in loud to but promise the great the greatest of the greatest on this harmonious harmonious beautiful tuesday which is mars day the element of fire bringing in strength courage confidence boldness releasing all stagnation is of our own and others as we connect with the one wholeness I just want to always pull you in enlightenment Jews and wisdoms that can help you on your wonderful divine journey I want to help you feel that true love that you're looking for, that you've been searching from outside of yourself, that true intelligence that's hidden within and been locked for so long. I want to help uplift your spirit to the most harmonious vibration of divine living light that it can be. But you got to be able to accept the help. And I accept the help as well. Because understanding we're one and all is connected. will let you know that all it is is you and you are all that it is. And by uplifting others and helping heal others, you also heal yourself, but also by healing yourself and healing yourself, you're also healing others as well. Always, always look within yourself for whatever it is you want to know. The intuition, the inner knowing, the soul and the heart already knows. Your higher self already knows. Divine already knows. You already know, but you choose to go against the path. And some things you don't know. And you got to be open to help you move along the path. All you have is present moment. And the reason the present moment is so important is because in the present moment, it takes you to where you need to be. It gives you information that is valuable on the next step that it needs to be. The present moment puts you in the now, so you won't be worried and stressed about what happened along the way. You choose to know that it was a learning experience, and being in the now helps you see how to utilize it to get through another experience. Will I repeat the same cycle and not pay attention to this, or... Should I be open to this this time? Because it's a familiar, a familiar space that I have recognized before. Utilizing the information from your past experiences and taking a different approach help you get in with not so much difficulty.
And you got also what we call the inner knowing. When you just ain't got to experience it because you already know of it deep inside. But you don't trust it. But you feel it. You know it. But because you don't see it, there's the fear of the unknown. Mm. The present moment puts you at a place of stillness, a place of peace. A place of in the now. A place of observing. And through the observing, seeing what's interesting, what's familiar, and what is actually going on. And understanding. where you stand in the midst of this. How do you choose to feel each and every day? Everybody's seeking joy. Everybody's seeking peace. Everybody's seeking some type of happiness or incitement to make them feel neutral and love in a way, whether it's a addiction, whether it's a habit, whether it's whatever, you seek in some type of comfort from it. But until you find that comfort inside of yourself, then you start to see and get comfort from everything else as well. Showing appreciation, gratitude, <laughs> no matter where you at, because being in the now, the present moment, telling you it doesn't even matter yet. When the time come, the time shall be. And right now, it's the present moment, baby. And most people say they, they don't worry about the past. They just focus on the future. I'm going to tell you a key about manifestation as well. You can't even manifest being actually focused on the future. The, the key of manifestation is being in this present moment, in the now, co-creating the future when it comes. Because see, even when the future comes, I tell you, it will only be what now, this present moment. You can't, just say, you know, I'm going I'm to see myself 24-7, you know, what I'm going to be at in the future and not be able to be open in this present moment to get the information and wisdom, you see what I'm saying, that it required to get to that future. Focusing on self is very, very valuable. And I know that you're a part of me, and I'm a part of you. So I like the spiritual awaken your soul on a higher perspective, on a higher consciousness to see things differently 
then you've been seeing them. Because it's going to come a time when you're going to feel like you've been betrayed. Or you might already feel like you've been betrayed. It's going to come some time when you feel like that you're being lied to or you've been lied to. And it's going to come a time where all type of things uh, occur and you won't understand them. And it's going to have to do with this life and where you stand in it. And you're going to have to make a decision at that time, you know, how you choose to co-create your human experience here on earth. <laughs> Peace, love, and divine light meant to you. What did we talk about? I actually don't know. You know, it's divine to speak to me, and we speak to you as well myself. And it's appreciation for you being able to compromise and being open to the light that I shed to you each and every day. Gotcha.